Renaissance people, what's going on? Renaissance Cam here, back in effect. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to be alerted when these videos drop. Um, today we're doing something a little bit different today. Um, as most of you don't know, I, I love to paint. And um, I've been working on a painting for going on around four months now and I just finished yesterday. So I'm really excited to share this with y'all. Um, as most of you guys know, we lost an icon, a living legend, um, a godly figure. Um, I don't like to throw religion out there like that, but really someone who seems like a godly figure in a lot of our eyes, a lot of our minds. If y'all don't know who I'm referring to yet, Kobe Bryant, of course. To me personally, um, Kobe Bryant was more than just a basketball player. Um, he was really just an iconic figure that a lot of people looked to, looked up to. He was loved by most people, hated by some, but at the end of the day, you have to respect his greatness. This entire situation is just something that's that, that really makes you question faith. It makes you question what to believe in, honestly, because I don't understand why this would happen to someone with so much value to society, with so much um, impact on society in a, in, a, in a great, positive way. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard to fathom that this, that he's gone. I, to this day, I still don't understand. I can't wrap my mind around it that he's gone, it doesn't feel real. Like I've seen all the ceremonies, I've seen all the, the the memorials and everything. And even when it first happened, like it took me by storm. Like, so I'm on social media scrolling, Instagram. Um, I see the first thing that pops up on my feed, I believe is, it says Kobe Bryant dies in helicopter crash. And initially I'm like, what are, what, what like, what, what do people get out of this? What do people get from making up stories like this? It, it makes no sense. Like, why would you do this? Like, are you that bored at home? But as I kept scrolling, as I kept searching, you know, I had to search for it. Um, and I found out later that it was true because once you see something on TMZ, TMZ's always on top of the game. So they're not, they're not really gonna lie about something like this. So once I saw it on TMZ, I knew it was, I knew it was, a reality. Funny story, um, when I was younger, nah, I'm still young, but when I was younger, um, my friends, girlfriends, whatever, they used to say I resembled Kobe Bryant in some type of way. I don't know what, what it was, whether it was the eyes, the, the, the certain angles of my face, I don't know. But um, when I was younger, I had the even all over haircut, no, no facial hair, nothing like that. So, um, yeah, funny story. If y'all think so, leave a like. If y'all don't, leave a dislike. I don't care. It's not my problem. But I didn't say it. I, I wasn't, no. But, um, yeah, that's just a funny story I have of Kobe Bryant. Um, all of the flack and the, the, the energy is concentrated towards Kobe Bryant and his daughter. Um, I understand that they, they've grown fame throughout time, but I mean, they're, they're human beings just like everybody else. And there were several other people on that helicopter that I don't feel they, they gave proper recognition to. So with that being said, my heart goes out to Kobe Bryant, his daughter, and those that, that entire crew that was on that helicopter. I'm gonna try not to get too emotional, guys, and preach to y'all or nothing like that, but this this whole incident, man, the only thing I got from it is treat every moment like it should last. Treat every day like it should last. Treat everybody with respect. Make sure you, if, if you need to tell them something, tell it to them. Don't wait. Time's not guaranteed. Time is precious. So if you want to tell somebody you love them, tell them you love them. It doesn't matter what they say back to you as long as you got it off your chest, as long as you put it in their spirit that it came from your spirit. All right, so... With that being said, y'all, I would like to share with y'all this painting I've been working on. I have a time lapse so y'all can see the entire process, the majority of the process at least. 
and um, I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs>